Let's be honest, we all like to use field regions once in a while in our Revit projects. When we work with field regions, we lack a lot of tools to do certain things quicker. Let me share with you the tools that I made to improve Revit when we work with field regions. I'm gonna show you how to cut field regions with detail line, how to cut field regions with another regions, how to merge multiple field regions into one, or how to split field regions into individual regions based on its boundary. Then I'm gonna show you how to change line style of multiple field regions, how to convert regions into floors or ceilings, and lastly, how to convert rooms into field regions. All these tools are part of my free EF Tools extension, which you can install from PyRavid extensions. It's also open source, so you can see all the source code behind them. And now, let's go through all of these tools one by one, starting with how to cut regions with detail line. And now, right here, you can see I have a bunch of regions in my Revit file, and there is one detail line going through all of them. I can go to EF Tools, and right here in Elements tab, there is Field Regions pull down menu. We're gonna select Split Regions with a line. We're gonna click on it. First, we're gonna select all the field regions we want to cut. Click on Finish. And now I need to pick a detail line, which is gonna be this red line in the middle. And now we can see that we have split all of them successfully. Now, let's move to the next step and see how to cut field regions with another region. Right here, I have a bunch of regions. Let's say I wanna split the circles by using other shapes. I'm gonna put this square right here, this weird triangle in here, and maybe one in the middle. Now, again, we're gonna go to EF Tools, Field Regions pull down menu. There's gonna be a split region with regions. Click on it. First, we need to select our main field regions, and then we need to select a splitting one, for example, that one. You can see we already cut it once. Now we can use this tool again and again. And now if I'm gonna isolate, you can see that we have cut this shape by using other shapes. Next, I wanna show you how to split one single field regions into multiple regions based on its boundary. Because right here, you can see I have just one field region and has lots of unconnected boundaries. So it means that I can go to the same field regions pull down menu and here split field region boundaries, select this region. And now we can see all of these field regions became individual regions. Now, let's look at the opposite example. Right here, I have all of these field regions separated from each other, and I want to merge them into one single field region. I'm going to go to Field Regions. Here on the top, there is Merge Field Region. I'm going to select all of these field regions, click right here on the Finish, and now it's just one single field region. Next, let's have a look how to change line styles of multiple field regions. Right now, I can see them all as separate field regions. They have just a thin line. Whenever you're gonna use this tool, just make sure that you tick off these thin lines on the top, otherwise they're gonna be shown the same. Now in field regions, I'm gonna click here change line style, I'm gonna select all the field regions I want, and then I need to click on finish. Then you will get this menu of all your line styles. Let's take that one, click on select, and now you can see it all changed to this red dash line. I can select a few of them again, but this time I wanna select invisible line, click on it, and now you can see there is no line at all. This is how simple it is to change line styles of multiple field regions. The next, I want to show you how to convert your field regions into floors. Right here, you can see these are all individual field regions. In field regions, I'm going to click on this button, regions to floors. I'm going to select all of the field regions, same as before, click on finish. Now, we need to select the level where we want to place them. Since I'm on the 00 EGF box, I'm going to select that one. And now, which kind of floor type would you like to apply? I'm gonna take this Stahlbeton 20, click on select, and once it's gonna create the floors, it's also gonna set your selection to them. So if I'm gonna isolate, you can see that all these elements are now floors. Similar to floors, we can also convert our field regions into ceilings. Here's an example. I'm gonna click on this button, regions to ceilings, select all of these regions, click on finish. Same as before, I can select my ceiling type, and I'm gonna say the offset is gonna be 50, so we actually can see it in the floor plan. Now click on create ceilings, same as before, it has set my selection once they were created, that means I can also modify the level or I can change the offset from the level. But I'm not gonna do this, I'm just gonna isolate and you can see all of these elements are now ceilings. And lastly, I wanna show you how can we take our rooms and create field regions from them. Right here you can see I have a bunch of rooms, but this tool located not in the field regions, but in the rooms pull down menu. And here we can click rooms to regions, now we need to select all of our rooms, Click on finish. Now I can select one of the region types. Let's say I want to take that one. Click on select. Now I can isolate my results and you can see I have seven new field regions that have all the type of the Stahlbeton. And this is just a few of the tools in my free EF Tools extension. Hope you like these new tools for field regions. Let me know if you have any more suggestions in the comment. And for those of you who are interested in how to create similar tools, check out my Learn Revit API course. 
It's not for sale right now, but I will let you know when it will be in my newsletter. Thank you and happy coding!